what's going on guys beastly gamer here and welcome to the channel today what you see before you is the playstation 4 the last of us remastered this game i've been waiting for i've been really excited about it and i gotta say i'm happy it's an amazing experience uh, as far as gaming goes the last of us is really hard to beat and uh... this game does not change that paradigm at all it's an amazing experience now you may notice a few things watching the multiplayer of The Last of Us Remastered versus any previous Last of Us videos I've made. That's 60 frames per second. 60 frames makes a hell of a difference playing this game. Now, I didn't think that it would initially because I had gotten so used to the locked 30 frames per second experience on the PS3. But let me tell you, it is a huge difference. Gunfights are so fast and so seamless it doesn't slow down and now I actually know when the game slows down on the PS3 version and how this game just keeps the action at a very fast pace uh, it doesn't slow down for me at all it just feels really good to uh, play it I was playing last night with Unreal Gamer if you guys don't know who he is check out his, his channel he does a lot of good gaming videos and he has a lot of fun with them but we stayed up last night till probably about 3.30 a.m close to four playing this game and uh, getting into it there's a lot of new maps I've not ever had the opportunity to play so you know going to these new maps makes me kind of feel like a chicken with my head cut off but getting into the game playing the game and experiencing it on the PS4 is a definite definite must for anyone with a PlayStation 4 has never experienced this now if you are used to the PlayStation 3 version of the game there are going to be a few changes that aren't cosmetic the control scheme has been changed and it does take a little bit of time to get used to it. On the PS3 version of the game, the L1 and the R1 triggers are what you use to aim and to fire. That has been changed to the L2 and the R2 with the PlayStation 4. And it does feel great. One of the biggest gripes I had about The Last of Us previously on the PS3 was that playing it on the PS4, the select button was very hard to, to get your finger around and actually uh, touch and uh, I gotta say I'm happy to see that Naughty Dog has mapped the touchpad instead of the select button so now you can hit the touchpad to uh, bring up your crafting menu and it makes a lot of sense and it's much easier it's very easy to get to so they thought about that as well this game has just been a lot of fun for me I've been experiencing it and loving it I haven't gotten into the story mode yet because uh, the first thing I wanted to do was dig into the multiplayer and you guys can see it looks great. Now I've heard a lot of people say this is the best game on the PS4 now. I really can't say it's not, but I do understand the argument of the people who say it isn't. It's an up res version of a PS3 game, but it's a PS3 game that won countless Game of the Year awards. That's that's garnered much accolade across the, across the board from many many uh, you know reviewers and news outlets. It's an amazing experience. And when it comes to the story of this game, I don't think any PS4 game can stand up to it right now. And with the graphics of this game, I think it's pretty far up there. It's, it's a really nice experience for those who uh, you know, are looking for something different on the PS4. Something that has a lot of meat and a lot of substance to it. There's just a shitload of things that you can do in The Last of Us. Now that you have all the extra DLC added with the game, it just gives so much replayability. I mean, seriously, think about it. You get... The Left Behind DLC, which is Ellie and Riley's story, which is a really, uh, you know, great addition to the single player campaign. It stands on its own. It's, it's a great experience. You spend a few hours with those two girls and watch their relationship grow and see how Ellie ended up where she is in the single player campaign. And of course, there's the 14, 15, 16 hour campaign with Joel and Ellie. And to me, that is the, the heart of this game. Uh, I've never played a game that made me feel the way this game did and I said it before and I'll say it again The Last of Us is one of the greatest gaming experiences of my lifetime and I don't say that lightly there are very few games that I actually will say you know uh, has affected me on that kind of level and The Last of Us is one of them uh, on so different, so many different occasions I felt over, overwhelmed with emotion about what was going on with the characters in this game and uh, to be able to experience it on the PS4 especially for the guys who are coming from the Xbox 360 who never had a chance to experience it, um, it it'll, it'll mean the world to you. I know Unreal Gamer had never played this game before. I got home last night 
and uh, sent him a message and we teamed up in some multiplayer. He had never played multiplayer before. And uh, all he was saying was, God, this is an amazing. This is an amazing experience. And it really is. So I implore anybody out there, if you've not had the opportunity to play The Last of Us, which there shouldn't be that many people out there, but if, you ha if you're one of the few that have not played this game and you have a PS4, this is a must-have pickup. It's $49. It comes with a plethora of DLC and additions. If you pre-order the game like I did, you get new skins for Joel and Ellie, which I haven't even used yet. I'm kinda curious to see what it'll look like, but you get all this extra stuff. You get the DLC map packs that are previously you previously had to pay for. Um, and uh, you get it stock straight out of the box with the PS4 version. So I think it's it's just an awesome value. It's a great game and it's a lot of fun. Now on to other the Last of Us news. I saw something last night that really blew my mind. I uh, heard about this initially uh, on, I believe it was Sunday, uh, the 28th, uh, the 27th, that, the, that uh, Naughty Dog was going to be doing um, a Last of Us One Night Live event. And uh, they were going to do some, you know, on stage reenactions of some of the cutscenes from the game. Now, this is going to have uh, Annie Wershing. The lady who played Tess. It's going to have uh, Hannah Hayes, the girl who played Sarah, who's Joel's daughter at the beginning of the game. Merle Dandridge, who played Marlene in the game. Ashley Johnson, of course, who plays Ellie. And the man himself, the man, the myth, Troy Baker, would be there. And uh, they were there. I saw it last night. I saw it on YouTube. For you guys who have not seen this, click on the link in the description at the end of this video. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I saw it last night and it blew my mind. Um, basically what it was was this. Um, they had scenes from the game. They had the, the Naughty Dog team there. They had, I forget his name, Gustavo, the guy who uh, who scored the game, which is an amazing score. I gotta say, as far as video game soundtracks go, this, this game is very unique. But they had these guys acting out scenes from the game on stage. You know, they had one night to rehearse. They had flown in from different parts of the world just to be there for this one night live event for the PlayStation 4 release. Now, this show was uh, streamed live on Twitch, it was streamed on YouTube, and it was streamed live on the PlayStation Network. But I was at work, so I wasn't able to see it when it went live. But let me tell you this these guys, <laughs> Troy Baker, Ashley Johnson, Merle Dandridge, the lady who played Marlene, these people are incredibly talented. Uh, I never knew how much work really goes into voice acting. I mean, I've seen videos of it of someone in a sound booth just using their voice. But the fact is, these guys had to use their whole body in every scene because they were motion captured for the game. And so to see them actually going through these motions, I saw the very beginning of the game where... Uh, Joel and Sarah were talking on the couch and she gave him the watch. Of course it wasn't Joel and Sarah, it was uh, you know, Troy Baker and Hannah Hayes sitting on the couch. But it was almost a pixel for pixel uh, transition. It, it looked so much like the real thing and of course they are the actual people who voice these characters. So it seemed so genuine to see them acting it out on stage and the audience went crazy. The audience went wild at the end of each day, uh, at the end of each uh, scene. It was amazing to watch. Um, the Last of Us has been a phenomenon to me. They're talking about possibly making a part two to it now. And uh, if they were to make a part two of this game, I don't know if it could live up to part one, but I damn sure would be extremely happy to uh, to experience it again. Uh, Ashley Johnson went on the record a couple of days ago and said that if they wanted her to come back to do a part two, that she'd actually do it. And so. That's always hope for you know hope for optimism. I mean, this game is one of the greatest games. I just hope that the guys out there who have not had an opportunity to play The Last of Us online get an opportunity to do it because there's so much more to this game than the story. And I'm not selling the story short in any way. The story of this game is one of the biggest and best things about it. There's no doubt that the story of The Last of Us outshines 99% of stories in video games. Uh, somehow they were able to make you feel the character. You felt like you were you know, on a journey with Joel and Ellie throughout the game and when they got caught in situations you felt their plight. But the multiplayer experience is not 
something to play with. It's so much teamwork goes in, that's involved here. Communicating with your team, talking to you know the people who you're with, letting them know where enemies are, marking enemies. I've said this kind of stuff before. It's really a robust experience that should not be missed. And I know how, what it's like because uh, before I played online on the PS3, I saw videos like this and I didn't know what was going on. And so in my mind, I was like, oh, it's another online game. This is not that. This game is this game is the online equivalent to The Last of Us Story Mode. I'm telling you now, it's incredibly deep and engrossing. Just as someone who plays it, I promise you, try the game. You will love this game. <laughs> I can't say enough good stuff about this game. But yeah, as you guys can see, the PS4 version is up 1080p. And as you can see there, the gunfights don't slow down. It's really awesome. It's, it's very fun. Uh, you gotta think. You've really gotta think about everything you're doing, like how I'm backing up here, and you know I need to heal myself. But I think I'm all out. But yeah, we got the last guy. Had a pretty decent game there. I hope you guys enjoyed this footage, and uh, leave a like if you're new to the channel, or even if you're old to the channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.